<laughs> right, so there's lots to tell you today. Right, we've set up this little demonstration because I don't know what was going on in my mind. Uh, right, I don't know where my head were thinking about this roof. Um, we've set up a little little model, as it were. So that's your triangle shape. If we build like we normally do, where our front wall is higher than the back, and we sit our rafters on, that's what's going to happen. So if you if you put that on there, look, that straight edge, you can see there the roof is going to be board in the middle so obviously that can't happen so what we're going to have to do with this one is build all the walls the same size let's see if i can get this off so what will happen then is all the walls will be the same size they'll be the rafters and then what we'll do then even if you're not a true triangle all your rafters will be at the front there like we'll have another timber across the front and then we'll put furrings on and as long as your furrings start at the beginning of each one they'll diminish to nothing correctly the way you want it so what will happen with this roof is all the water will run this way we'll have a p trim on the front there and we'll have gutter trim on the sides so the rain will come down it'll run off the sides and into the gutter and down off the end yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. It looks so, better. It looks better, doesn't it? <laughs> so that's what's going to happen. So all the walls will be the same size. It's minus two today. You can see it's proper cold. Um, got the gas tucked down the trousers for the Paz Lord. Right, what I'm going to do, I've ordered a seventh generation Paz Lord and I'm going to give it away at Christmas. But to get in with a chance of winning the seventh generation Paz Lord, you have to follow me on Instagram. I want, and I'll give you my address maybe today or tomorrow, I want a sell, an envelope, your name and address on it, and I also want your Instagram name on it as well. And if you're not following me when you get drawn out, you're not gonna win it. So that's it, seventh generation Paz Lord. You need to follow me on Instagram and I'm gonna give it away on Christmas Eve. Uh, so like I said, it's two degrees, um, back to the nail guns again. The, the Paz Lord is gas, obviously. It, you need to keep the gas warm, but even doing that, it stopped firing after about seven shots. So we're back onto the Milwaukee's, which obviously battery operated. Um, right, this wall, because it's a triangle, the wall is quite, what, what's the wall? Nearly six meters, Brandon. Yeah. The wall is nearly six meters and we haven't got enough sp space to build it. So we've got two, two, two separate studs, one there, one here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna OSB this one up until up until uh always speak to there so that we can square the wall we're going to stand it up fix it in place and then we're going to put that stud in as well make sure that's plumb and always be it whilst it's stood up uh once again the sheets i don't know why these are four foot and sometimes they come at 1.2 so we're having to rip 20 mil off down the length of the sheet which is a bit of a pain in the ass but it is what it is um so we're going to square this one i showed you how to square it before um if you come over here david what will happen is We'll use the board as the square edge. This is the top of these triangles. Right, and um, we'll put a fix in there in that corner. We'll then fix down there and get it dead straight with there. Let's see if we can show you. There, can you see David, look? So that there now is dead square with that wall, yeah? So when I fix that there, if you look there, look, you see that there, David? The wall's yeah. running away, so that means the frame's not square with it. But what we'll do then, we'll drive that down to get that square. You see there, look, four foot sheet. It's fallen on the edge where we need it to fall on the centre. So we'll have to rip uh, 20 mil off that as well. Right, so you can see what we've done. We've squared that part of the wall. Yeah, and we've added that additional bit of frame there. Um, because we couldn't build it completely on the floor, we're having to then go and OSB that afterwards. Um, but that's sort of like the side wall. We'll have the same scenario with this wall as well. There's a big long wall. We're going to struggle to build it on here, so we might have to build it in two now that we've got this one up, depending where we stand with it. Um, well, that's it. So at the front there, we'll cut the front. We've dropped the timber on there. Um, our 5 by 2 then will come up there, cut at an angle there, and the OSB will go around there, and I'll probably put a little fillet piece in that angle there just to tie that in. We've got the side walls up. Uh, we've let this OSB fly past because what we're going to do we're going to run OSB into them and then cut that off. I just want to show you something about this detail. So the steel will sit in there. Obviously, that's the height of that wall then. See if it comes down here. So, yeah, just have a look down there. So, this, this frame here, look, it's going to slide up there like, like that or thereabouts. Yeah. So, what I want then, I want a timber there so that. This, pl this plasterboard carrier there and a timber there as well. Can you see that, David? Yeah. So I'm going to put two timbers. That timber there will be used to fix that through. 
to tie that wall into there and that timber there will be put past ball carrier. Now we're waiting for John to come back because he's got the steel and he's also got some rock wool um, because that void there we will not be able to insulate once it's boarded. So I'm going to rock wool that first, put the two timbers in, rock wool that and then this wall then can go into place like that. We'll square that through, mirror it same on the other side. You've already put a double timber in that side already. Um, and like I say, we'll insulate this little bit here because we won't be able to get in to insulate that afterwards. Yeah. Right, so that's your triangle structure, I guess. Um, it's just over 12 square metres. You see there's another floor. We put the walls up, they were a pain in the ass. We've actually half built the wall, then stand them up. Same with that wall as well, just because it's big, it's like six metres long. Um, the front there, we put the steel in, obviously that needs a bit of um, OSB on the front there and the bottom as well. And I'll just show you what we're doing with the roof as well. Um, we've, so we've created a completely level roof um, and what we're going to do is put furrings on it then. So because it's such a big span, it's over five metres towards the back, I put a double trimmer there and we've just hanging on there. So we split the load there um, and we've got the spike tools running on there. And we simply, again, you've seen as you've said before, they're just joist hangers upside down, but we'll strap the, the, the joist to the timber, which is then fixed to the steel, which is then fixed to the building. Same on the back. Um, we'll run the, run the timbers through there. And then what we'll do, we'll ping some lines down the sides. We'll cut them off probably with a chainsaw on Monday and put the side trimmers on and I'll show you that doing. So that's everything. You can see what I ran about earlier on there. We put that double timber in there, A to fix that wall to that wall and B to get the plasterboard in. And of course, Davey's infilled that with rock wall as well. So that's it. Don't forget, Monday I should have the PAS load and I'm going to give it away to somebody on Christmas Eve. But you have to follow me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, then you won't be with a chance of winning it. Okay, so please subscribe, subscribe button down there as well and uh, leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you. All right, see you Monday. Thank you. Bye.